Shake from GadgetsView.com and today we are going to tell you about a problem which I am facing on my Google account and this is the problem which is related to the storage. So as you can see right now if I take my mouse cursor over there you can see that I have used 41 GB out of 71 GB which was allocated to my Google account. So I have actually exceeded the storage and now when I go to my Gmail and try to take a look over the emails i have got this warning that you are running out of storage and you will soon be unable to send and receive emails until you free up the space or purchase additional storage and if i click on the purchase additional storage it will cost me more amount of money uh, again the gmail account is free and right now i have 17 gb allocated to my account and i have used 40 Point 0.9 approximately 41 GB I have used and 15 GB is normally free in a current plan and I have got 2 GB more because of an offer by Google. So right now this problem is something which I'm facing and a lot of people might be facing a similar problem. So I'm going to tell you the solution for this and how you can free up your Google storage or the Google Drive storage so that you can have uh, the same account and you can use it for free and you don't have to pay additional charges which is going to be minimum two dollars per month for 100 gb of storage or you can go for the 10 dollar plan again this is my personal account so i would rather not pay for this uh, and keep using it so in order to keep using it i need to first of all free up the storage and you need to go to this page which is this one and in order to go to this page you need to type uh, this particular url and let me create a new note for that and show you how does it look like so let me yeah so if you you have to go to this particular url which is google.com slash settings slash storage and this particular thing and then you can land on this page where it will tell you the current storage which you have in your account and how much of that is actually being used and it will also tell you how much of uh, google drive storage you are using out of this and how much gmail is using so in this case gmail is the major part because gmail is using approximately 39.27 gb in my account so i need to free up the storage from gmail so you will get to know from which particular application or which particular service from google is actually eating up your storage on your google account and then you need to free that now in order to free the storage on your account first of all you need to search for older emails uh, which you can always delete and get rid of those emails you have to delete them from trash as well before you can continue forward so in case you would like to find out the emails which are older uh, you have to type this search term and I have got to know this search term from some website. I, ha I have been searching about it. So there is a search term uh, which you can use, which you can either say file name uh, colon MOV so that you have a so that you can locate the MOV files on your account and delete them. So in case you say file name, MP3 or MOV, you can find all the emails which are there with that particular extension. And these are the files which you might have received from people. And in that case, they are taking up the storage on your Gmail account. And you can always free that storage uh, by typing the search term, selected that e select that email, and then you can delete that email. Apart from that, uh, there are more tips which I have got to know in which you can either type older than uh, two years and this is the search term for that. So if you type, copy this and type it in your account. So all the emails which are older than two years, which you may not need, it will locate that and you can delete these emails. But again, this is going to be a tedious task because it will be a hell lot of emails which you might have on your account and you may not want to delete those emails. Now the major problem, which is the uh, reason behind this uh, major issue which is happening is that the email which are bigger in terms of the size and when I say bigger that means the files are bigger than 5 MB so in that case you need to use this search term uh, which says larger colon 5 MB that is 5 megabyte and then you can search for all the emails which are bigger than 5 megabytes and then uh, you can locate all these emails in your account. Now, in case you want to delete all the emails, but you don't want to delete some specific emails, then you can uncheck them like this. And that's how you can delete the other emails. For example, I have received a lot of press releases and I can delete all these emails, uh, which is not useful to me 
and I can free up the storage and that's how you can free up the storage and reclaim the storage space which you have for free and uh, that's how you can get rid of it in case you don't want to delete all these emails and you would like to basically keep them as an offline backup then uh, there is a solution as well and in that case you will have to follow the procedure which is being given at howtogeek.com and this is a website which is by uh, one of my friend his name is Lowell and he has actually told us that how you can use Mozilla Thunderbird as a gmail client for your account and you can download all these emails through the mozilla thunderbird account over here as you can see and once you have downloaded all these emails then you can store them as an offline backup and you can delete it from the server but not from your system and that's how you can have a uh, emails which are bigger in size so in this case if you take a look uh, first of all you will have to download all the emails like this then you have to click on all mail and over there you can sort all the emails by size over here and once you sort the email by size you will get to know the size of the email the bigger emails which are of bigger size you will get to know that and you can delete the bigger ones and that's how you can reclaim the storage and you can delete these emails only from the server not from your system and that's how you can actually get rid of this warning which is right now on my account and you might be facing a similar warning on your account as well so this is all i have uh, in case you have any queries and questions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can like this video, this video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.